perspective on how this trend is transforming the film industry. I was joined in Los Angeles by Peter Shaw. He's founder and CEO of Orb Media Group. It's an independent film studio focused on Hollywood Chinese co-productions. This is really hot out the press. I had a conversation with the head of Chinese Co-Production Corporation, the government agency in China overseeing co-productions. I think we've been running about an average maybe one or two official co-productions in the past several years. Uh, as it stands right now, there's, four, there's at least 40 applications moving through the process to give you a sense of scale. Let's say it's not zero to 60, but, but five to six, five, you know, five to 60. Yeah, so it's so, moving. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So t talk to me about the opportunities for, for movie makers, for actors, actresses, directors. W what do you see as the future then? Well, the future, I think many would tell you the future is in China. Um, that's not to say the global market won't play an important role, but the kind of phenomenal growth is experienced in China in a way that is not seen anywhere else. Uh, so for American filmmakers, the talent, the writers, the technologists, the producers, the directors, and, and certainly for the actors, um, they're needed on all levels, not only to make co-productions or American films, but they're also required to participate in Chinese movies that are grown uh, a lot more ambitious. They're starting to make some real money, and they need craftsmen and technicians and professionals and creatives on all levels to up their local game. So we're seeing growth in those as well, and, and many of my friends are finding gainful employment working on Chinese content. And so we know there's the upside there, but there obviously has to be some challenges as, as, as well. Uh, can you describe what they may be and, and how do you kind of ease your way through those? Um, there's the most obvious cultural and language differences, and those are at the, 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 you know, those are the baselines. Once you overcome those, there are logistical issues, there are aesthetic issues, there are pay issues, there are union and labor issues. So those just have to be dealt with, you know, as they come up. Look into your crystal ball, if you will, and talk to us about how TV films are going to be transformed as, as we move forward. Just not necessarily zero to 60, as you pointed out, maybe five to 60, but it is moving mm -hmm. and it's moving fast. How do you see it transforming things? Well, it's already transforming the landscape by the participation of Hollywood with Hollywood know-how. Uh, and it's not just money. Frankly, money is the last thing. It's the know-how that I believe is going to upgrade uh, Chinese content. The deal that you alluded to is really addressing a, a, a need on China's, on China's soil for better quality content, whether it's filmmaking or television. Uh, so I think we're going to see a dramatic increase in the kind of quality. Eventually, the quality will mirror that of international, the best practices in, in the world, and there's a, there's a chance for cross-border uh, distribution.